Five four. Yes, sir. First in, first out. Uh, like yesterday, remember when we spoke about loaf of bread. Remember what I said? I said usually as a businesswoman or man, you will try to sell the old stock first. Yes, sir. That's called first in, first out. Okay. Yes. okay. It's another method called last in, last out, but we don't normally use it now. Uh, last in, last okay. out, usually they use it when they retrench people. Oh, okay. It makes sense, you know, because you can't get rid of someone who has been working for you for 17 years and you keep someone for six months, you know, but here we're going to use I either 5, 4 or 5, 4 and weighted average method, okay. So okay. I believe we still have the basics from the weighted average method so that we can see the difference, but let's just check. Can we start? Yes, sir, we can start. No problem. Same procedures we highlighted. And we must always start at the beginning of the period. Okay. So, at the beginning of the period, they said they were on hand. Remember, this thing on hand makes the difference. Okay. Yes, sir. On hand, meaning the balance at the beginning. It doesn't matter which system are you using. The fact is the balance will always be written the same. Are you okay? Yes, sir. Yeah, so the balance, that's why I didn't remove it here, will still remain the same, just like this. Let me just put it like this. Yes. So the, the table will still be the... Yes, sir. Question. So the table yeah. will still be yeah. the same. Okay. It will be the same. It's just that now I'm using five, okay? Okay, sir. So. Okay, so you can start. You can start. Okay. Now, let's go and check the transactions. On the second, we sold. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. How many? Um, 102 units. Remember, we don't touch the selling uh, price. The selling price, yes. Don't. So now we're selling 10. Obviously, we know that we must come. It's the second, isn't it? Yes, it's the second. And then we go to which column issues, obviously, because we're feeling 110 units. 110 units. So what, here is where it differs. Remember, under oh, average, okay. we were supposed to find the average price. Remember, we had to find the average price. Yes, sir. Here we don't have to. Here we have to sell the first stock. We must first sell what? 80. Okay, so so for me? so for the second, since it's we are selling under yeah. issues, right? You're saying we first selling yes. for the first stock. We're not looking for the average. So we're not looking yes. for the average cost. Okay. Yeah, we must first sell the stock which is old. Can you see now? Yes, sir. At 18 rand 50. Okay. And then yes, obviously sir. after selling, we only we need 110, but we didn't manage to sell everything. So what is remaining after selling 80? How much must we still sell? Um, you still need to sell the 95. 
No, no, no. We want to sell one ten. Oh, okay. We only sold eighty. How much must we still sell? Thirty more units. We must sell thirty. But those states will come from a different price because we don't have that set stock. No? At, at which price? At 18.15. No, we don't have the stock for 18.15 anymore. It's finished. So, so we use the selling price. So we use the, look, the selling at, price given. Let's check it. No, 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 no. We don't touch selling prices as we agreed. Check. The first stock we sold 80. Yes. And the cost of that stock was 15. So it means that stock is not there anymore. It's not doesn't exist. That's why we have to sell 30 out of the other stock that is left. How much is left after selling 80? How much stock do we still have? We sold stock for 80. Do we still have stock available to sell from after selling the stock for uh, 80, 80 units? Wait, so you're confusing me. So wait, you're saying we take the 110 units, right? And we minus it from the 80 units. That gives us 30 units left that we need to still sell right yeah but at what at what price are we selling it for 18 i'm asking you i'm asking you that's what i'm saying you must make it practical you sold the stock you know the one that you sold already 80 units do you still have it yes yes you I still have it do you still have that stock no 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 Eight because i sold it you sold here we don't have it anymore so now I want to sell 30. Where can I sell 30 out of out of which stock? Must I sell 30? From the 18 rent 25. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, so wait, okay, wait, let me understand. Okay, so since we don't calculate selling price as well for FIFO, it's not included, right? So we take mm -hmm. the 110 units given from a, from the table, right? And we minus 80 from that. Mm -hmm. So that means we still need to sell 30 more units at 18 rand 25 because that is the leftover amount that still needs to be calculated. Hmm? <laughs> no, that is the, it depends where do I sell that stock out of. I'm only left with 95. It means I can only take it out of 95. That's why I use the cost for 95. Mm, okay, okay. I don't know if it makes okay. sense. I'm, I'm getting it. So maybe if I do another question, then I will. Mm -mm. This one is, you need to get it here because uh, I want you to make it practical. The reason why we used 1825 is because we sold the stock out of 95 and the cost of that stock of 95 is 1825. Okay, so can I just write down notes quickly? Okay. Okay, so we can continue. How much is the stock? The, um, I want the amount now. The amount is 
547 rand and 50 cents. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, let's go to balance. How much stock do you still think that we still have left? Do you still have anything left after selling? Um, no, because we sold all the stock. No, we didn't sell all the stock. We only sold how, okay. Before we sold, how much was the stock available all in all? Before we sold, sir, it was... The number of units, how much? It was 110 units, given in the question. No, 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 that is what we sold. Before we sold, how much was the stock available? Thirty units, sir. Before we sold left. on the, there were thirty no, units left. Before we sold on the, I'm not talking about left. I'm talking about before we sold our stock, which is one ten. How much was the stock available? Because you can only sell from what you have available. How much was we had the stock available? How many units of we had much? We had 80 units left. We had 80 units store of stock. Not only 80. And I, okay, well, sir, but, but okay, wait. So I'm lost. I'm not gonna lie. I'm lost. Tato, before the second, pretend as if you don't see anything here. We are, before we sold on the second, how much stock did we have on hand before we? We sold. How much did you have as our stock? According to you. We had 80, 80 units at 18 and 15 and 95 units at 18 and 25. We had 80 units and 95 units. Are we are you with me now? Yes. Okay. Now we sold this eight. You can see we sold this eight, meaning we don't have this 80 anymore. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, sir. We sold this 30 out of how many units? Out of the 110 units. Out of no 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 no. Uh, 80 plus 30 is 110. Unfortunately, we could not sell 110 at the same time. Now we first sold 80. 80 is not there anymore. Yes. And we sold 30 out of which stock? Out of what? Which stock? Out of the 95 out of which units. Stock here? Yes. So now of if you sold, uh, how much is the balance left here? Of the stock? Sixty-five units. Sixty-five units at the price of Eighteen rent twenty-five still. Eighteen rent twenty-five. And how much is the value of that stock? Eighteen rent twenty-five. It's one thousand one hundred and eighty-six comma twenty-five. Please tell me where you are lost because I don't want you to be lost here because if you if you can get it once it's gonna be okay. So just tell me what is confusing at the moment do you understand why we have this figure just talk to me take me through it okay so the given balance no, no, no. Right, sir. yes mm -hmm. so the given balance still remains as 18 80 units at 18 rand 15 cents right and 95 units at 18 rand 25. so the question asked how many units were sold right on the second so we take um, 110 units minus 80, which gave us the new um, units of 30, 30 units at 18 rand 25, which we took from the 95 units. Yeah. So minusing those two units, 
we get the new balance of 65 units at 18 rand 25. And then we get the amount. Does it make sense to you? Why? Yes. Yes, sir. No problem. It's just yes, that I'm unfortunately quickly... we couldn't sell one. Can I just quickly write notes? But I'm listening, sir, yes. No, it's okay, write first. Okay, so we can continue. Okay. Don't forget, this is first in, first out. We had to sell out of this stock first. If I didn't sell mm. everything out of this stock, the other stock must be sold from the other one. So we don't sell it once if we can't sell, because there are two different stocks. We're not allowed to mix them. We first sold 80. Okay, sir. We're supposed to sell another 30. We took another 30 out of 95. That's how we say it's first in, first out. Let's try another one. The fifth, we bought 90 units at 18 rand. Where must I record this? Just take me through. Um, we're not. Add it under the purchases column. What was the price, by the way? It was 90 units. Yes, at 18.50. How much is the value? Okay. Where do you go? Where do we go from here? We take it straight to the balance. Perfect. Any question? No, sir. Now, remember, when you buy, don't do anything. You just go and put it like that. Can you see now? So it's not like I remember if it was, let me ask you, if it was weighted average, what were you supposed to do here? If it was weighted? We're first going to um, plus the units, and then we're going to plus the amounts. And then we get mm -hmm. that amount divided mm -hmm. by the um, the the units. Okay, so let me do this. Okay, so you wanna say sixty five plus ninety, which was gonna give you one one five. I mean one five five units, and you wanna mm -hmm. plus the amount, which is one thousand eight hundred and sixty five. 25 plus 1,665 will give you 3,530 and 25. And then you're going to say times by 155 units. You can't times. Oh, divide, sir. Divide. 
you divide and then give, what they then do, gives you, average method. Yes, then it'll give you the new um, amount for it for the weighted average. Yeah, but for five four, you just leave it like that and you move on. Okay, sir. Okay. Let's try another one. Let's see what happens after the fifth. The fifteenth, we sold seventy five. Okay. Please tell me what to do. I'll just intervene when you struggle. We sold 75. Where must I go? Um, it's going to go under the issues column. Okay. It's 75 units. And then we're going to use three. We're going to use the new, new amount, the 1850. So don't we use the 1850? Because we can't take the selling price right. of, 30, of the 30, 31 Rand 75. I agree with you. You can't use the selling price. But why 1850? I'm not saying you're wrong. I just want to understand why 1850. Because that's the new. Um... Oh, it's that's for purchases. Okay, so. We're going to use the 18 rand 25 because we sold at 18 rand 25. Okay. So and we purchased at 18 rand 50. So the new um, amount is 75 units at 18 rand 25. No, no, you're confusing the two systems. Now, there's nothing about new here. Let's do it once and for all. We want how many units okay. to sell? How much do you want to sell all, all in all? 75 units. units. 75 units. This is first in, first out. Check. This is first in, first out. Do you have one stock? Okay. Do you have, okay. Can you see we are left with 65 and, and 90? Can you see now? Yes. Yes. Can you see our balance is 65 and 90? So yes, because. Sir. Remember, first in, first out. You must first look at the first stop, this one first. That's the procedure. And say, can I manage to sell 75 out of this first stop? No, you can't, sir, because it's over 65. I can only sell how much? I can only sell 65. Does that make sense? So you can only sell 65. The only thing that I can yeah, from the first stock, because I only have 65. Okay. So it means I must sell this stock for this way. Can you see now? For 65. 65. I must sell all of it. I must sell all of it. But after selling, I still have to sell how much? Um, 90 units, sir. So you're going to say? I want to sell 75. According to my entry, I only sold 65. How much do I still have to sell to make it 75? Oh, 10 more, sir. 10 more units. But out of which units can I sell those 10 units? From the 90. From the 90. What is the price of the 90? The price of the 90 is 18 rand 50. How much is the value? Mm. Um, 185 rand. 185 rand. I, I, 
thing you are struggling, I don't know why are you struggling with the selling. You're struggling with the selling. It's the same thing we did on top. I needed 675. Unfortunately, if I had enough from the first one, it was okay. Mm, okay. I'll just sell everything at the same time. But I could only sell 65 out of that one. The remainder will be sold out of the one that is available now. Okay, so let's say so the 65, right? 65 units, right? Was 85. And the question asked us 75 yes. units. So I would still, yes. it will still be 10 units. Now I'll sell the whole 75 units because it will mean that out of that, I've got enough. Because you said I have 85 here. Yes. So, saying, so then, yes, if I, if I had 85. Five, I can sell 75. I'll sell everything okay. at once. Then I'll, on the 15, I'll put 75. Instead of 85. Yeah, because you can't sell 85 because you are looking for 75. You only put 75. You can't sell the whole thing. Unless you want to sell all the 85. It depends. Okay, sir. So then no, the new... Okay. So, a... No, wait. Sir. Um, if it's 85, right? Let's say it's 85. Because it could... In the question, they could ask us like that. So let's say it's 85. And they tell us we need 75. 85 so where? it's probably where? 85 where? By the 65. By the 65, yeah. 80. Yes, let's say it's Between 85. Yes, yeah. sir. If it's 18, yeah, 85 units at 18 rand 25, right? Mm hmm and it asked us to sell at 75 units so we're gonna take the 75 units because it's possible for me to sell at 75 units so now you see where it yes so now where, where it says 10 10 units at 18 rand 50 there wouldn't be anything there because i sold at 75 units at 18 rand 25 and then it's the new That's amount true. and then there was no okay. if you can put that 10 now Let's say you have got 75, you put 10. Can you see now you have got 85? You're not, you didn't sell 85. Everything must be the, must total to whatever you have sold. So if you put 75 there, there was no need for you to have 10 because you sold everything <coughs> from the stock. Okay, sir. So what is the balance? Um. The balance is 80, 80 units at 18 rand 50. Perfect. Then the new amount is 1,480. Question, please. And it makes sense. We don't have this stock anymore. Nothing has been left because we sold the whole of it. Can you see now? Yes, sir. I'm just writing down. Oh, I see. 65 plus 10 is 75 units sold. Okay. Unfortunately, I couldn't sell them at once. Yes. They had to come from different stocks. You understand what I mean? Yes, sir. Okay, so we can continue. Okay. Let's go to the next stage. The trend here. We sold, uh, we bought 125 units. Yes.
tell me what to do. So it's gonna go under the purchase column, which is um, 125 units at 18 Rand 25. The new amount is 2,281,25. Come again, 2,000? 281 mm -hmm. and 25 cents. Thank you. And then? And that's going straight to the balance. Buying is very easy. Yes. It's is easy. <laughs> selling, 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 selling. We must pick the selling part. But it's okay. Slowly but sure. Um the next door. Okay. The next door. The next one is is on the twenty fifth. We bought eighty. Yes. 80 units, 75. Is that 80? Yeah, 18 rand 75. 80 at 18 rand 75. Yes. The amount is 1,500. And then? Um, on the 28th, we sold Not finished yet. 100. Not, not finished. Oh, going straight to the balance, sir. The same amount. Okay. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. I'm waiting for you. Oh. <laughs> okay, on the 28th, we sold 180 units, which will go under the um, issues column. Uh -huh. Not 180. It's not 180. I mean, 150. 150 units. On the 28th? Yes, 28. So which column? Um, issues. Yes, issues. Okay. So um, we're gonna take from the hundred and twenty-five units. Okay. So then it's gonna be one hundred and fifty units minus. It's gonna be twenty-five. You want to take 125 at 18 and 25. And then we're going to have 25 units at 18 rand 75. Okay, I, I like the procedure, but 125 is not the first, it's not the old stock.
Uh, it's the it's it's the eighty un eighty units. You start with the eighty units. Can you see now? You must start. Okay. This stock is. We have got three. One, two, three. So you start with this one first. Before you come this one, if it happens, you come to this one. Let's start there. So when I start with that one, what do you think I'm gonna write here? If we start with the first one. You're gonna write um eighty units at eighteen rand fifty. Yes. Okay, what else? Um, when I take then it's going to be 70 units at yeah. 18 and 25. The new amount is 1277 What about this one? Is what? I'm missing a figure here, 480. Um, yes, it's 1480, yes, sir. So I'm asking myself, why is Tado now getting it? Because where was Tado? Because now I can see, you see the light, like you, you can see, like, why do we have to do that? 80, 70. So, okay, let's take it further. Let me not credit you before you finish. Um, and then we're going to have... Uh... So, sir, now here's my question. Are we gonna take mm -hmm. the hundred and twenty-five units minus mm -hmm. seventy units yeah. first? Yeah. Okay. Which will then be fifty-five units at eighteen rand twenty-five. Fifty-five. Yeah, it's fifty-five units. At eighteen rand twenty-five. Eighteen rand twenty-five. Yes, sir. Which is? Which is one thousand and three and seventy-five cents. And 55? 75. 75 cents. Okay, thank you. And then? Um, we still need to do the, uh, the 80 units because they wanted 150 units. units. Yes, sir. No, but I think 80 plus 70 is not 180, 150. I don't know how much. Didn't, oh, we, sell what we, didn't we sell what we wanted? Yeah, so we don't have to sell anymore. Okay, sir. So this 180 was not touched. We still have it. We just have to bring it down. Because we never touched it. That's one of the balances. So this is what I'm left with. Okay, sir. Does it make sense? Can I... Yes, sir. Because I can't just exclude it, right? So it needs to go somewhere. It is still part of the it's still part of the it's what I'm left with. I'm still having it. So that's why it's still the same. You must bring it down to show that now I'm left with the fifty-five. We know how we got fifty-five. And now we're left with the one that we didn't touch at all. Okay, sir. Can I quickly just write down?
Okay, so let me continue. So this is where it ends with the FIFO. The way to calculate these things at the bottom is the same way. It's just that now, remember 3.1, the first one, they wanted the, what is the requirement here? They wanted the value of what? Stock. So, yes. So how to find the value of stock is just here for two stocks with different, can you see now, with different values? Can you see here? Yes, sir. So it means for 3.1, you will just need this. Uh, let me put it here. 3.1.1 1 1 is where they wanted value of stock. So the value of stock, you were just supposed to do this. 80. The other one is you have to take those two stocks together and you add them. I don't know if it makes sense. Yes, sir, it does. So that's the only thing that you're supposed to do. I'll give you the amount no no sir. It's two thousand five hundred and three comma seventy five. Seventy five. Like this. Yes. Yes, sir. That is the value of stock, okay? Okay, sir. So, selling, sales will remain the same, ne? it doesn't change for the system. Okay. It doesn't change, okay? But the cost of sales will change. How do you think I'm going to find cost of sales here? Same procedure that we used before. Yes, sir. You're going to say, um, won't you take all the issues? And then you add yeah. them. too much at me yes it does sir. Mm, because but it looked like you are you're just repeating yourself no those are marks that's why the marks for five will be a bit you know high Okay, so I'll calculate just now.
new amount is 6,158,25, sir. So, so which one is most likely to be asked? FIFO or the weighted average cost? No, they change. They, change. they just change whatever. So you never know. I can't say which one do they normally ask. They ask anything that they think. You know? But they think uh, weighted average is difficult. Sometimes, most of the time, I think I can just say if I want to choose weighted average. Okay. They, they know students are going to be confused. They don't know how to find the average. Uh, this one is too long this one <laughs> yeah it's too long can you see so gross profit will also remain the same just cost of sales will be different so how much is the gross profit is the same as the other one um no can't be do change. Just calculate it. It will be four That's how um, FIFO looks like. Okay, so I'll practice for this one. Maybe hopefully I get a question with 